in sat 3ds okay so why is it a news the insat 3ds satellite has been flagged off to the launch port at sadish dhawan space research center in sriharikota okay so why is it a news because the insat 3 satellite have been uh, uh, flagged off from the a uh, flagged off for the launch from the sadish dhawan space center in sriharikota so what is insat 3 uh, 3ds okay so it is an exclusively meteorological satellite okay by isro okay so it mainly the purpose of it is to provide continuity of services to the existing in orbit insat 3d and 3dr satellites and significantly enhance the capability of insat system so we already know that we have insat system or insat satellite which we studied in detail in the during we when we took science and technology right so there um, we know that there need, uh, need to be a replacement or an uh, subsequent addition uh, over years so uh, to increase the working right and also to get additional information so for that purpose insat 3ds was launched and it was for completely for meteorological purposes meteorological purposes for uh, example for identifying the weather uh, to identify the climate change okay so insats are major, majorly for meteorological purposes so this one Uh, is also for the meteorological purpose and it will assist the other uh, insat satellites which we have already launched okay we know that the isro is the organization behind our spatial research right so similarly here as well insat 3ds satellite is also launched by isro now when it will be launched it will be launched on february 2024 okay now regarding its technicalities we can see six channel imager and 16 channel sound meteorological payloads are there to identify better okay to identify or uh, to send images of both the uh, images as well as sounds for that advanced technologies have been used that is the major thing okay now communication payloads data relay transponder and satellite added search and rescue transponder are used okay so they, uh, as i said here the insat will be having advanced technologies so two such technologies are data relay transponder and uh, satellite aided search and rescue data relay transponder means here majorly the data of different areas for example hydrological uh, um, water or oceanographic data meteorological weather uh, atmospheric data okay all data are received by the data relay transponder instrument receives meteorological hydrological and oceanographic data from automatic data collection platforms uh, or automatic weather stations and augments the weather forecasting capacity okay thus what will be the need the data as we know the data are collected and it will be further utilized for proper weather forecasting then the next one is regarding the satellite aided search and rescue okay here majorly the search as the um a uh, name indicates it's for search and rescue during the distress times okay it's to relay a distress signal or alert detection from the beacon transmitters for search and rescue services with global service coverage okay now about the launch vehicle okay insat is something which we know that it is uses the geosynchronous uh, orbit for its uh, working so majorly it is a heavy satellite so we are using the gslv for its launch so gslv means geosynchronous satellite launch vehicle now satellite is designed for enhanced meteorological observations and monitoring of land ocean services for weather forecasting and disaster warning as i said it mainly deals with or mainly uh, uh, covers the weather the meteorology okay the disaster warning and also it by through collecting the data and analyzing it we can properly uh, predict the weather or can have weather forecasting better